Hello everyone and welcome back to my heavenly babies. My name is Angel and sitting right here is Electra. Electra is the newest baby in my nursery and I completely reborned her and we'll go over all of that. Um, all of her information will be right there on the screen. We are doing play day Saturday for Patricia over at Patricia Dolly Dreams. And as you see, Electra is playing with all of her toys. She's feeding her little cabbage patch and she's just having a lot of fun. And then as soon as I put the camera on, she saw that big ring light and she's just so amazed by that. Yeah, look at how beautiful she is, guys. I'll go over everything with you guys, but first we're going to put God first, as always. I hope you guys are having a wonderful Saturday and relaxing and enjoying yourself. Today is the 19th, and it's called Speak the Truth Always. Each of you must put off falsehood and speak truthfully to his neighbor, Ephesians 4.25. Then it goes on to say, why is it wrong to tell a lie, even if it doesn't seem to hurt anyone? One reason and one that we should take very seriously is because God commands us to tell the truth. One of the Ten Commandments states clearly, you shall not give false testimony against your neighbor, Exodus 20, 16. But another reason is because a lie always, without exception, hurts someone. How do you know? For instance, what impact you, your untruthful words might have on someone else's reputation? The answer is you don't. Or do you honestly want your children to grow up thinking it doesn't matter whether or not they tell the truth? Do you honestly want your unbelieving friends to conclude that Christ doesn't mean anything to you? Most of all, a lie always hurts the one who tells it. It makes them less concerned about God's truth. In addition, others will eventually realize that they can't be trusted. Don't compromise on the truth. Yeah, don't compromise. Yep. Don't compromise on the truth. Instead, commit every part of your life to Christ, including your speech. Amen to that. We should always speak the truth, you guys. We always need to be honest because, you know, one lie turns into two lies, turns into three, turns into four. It just keeps going. You just have to keep lying. Telling the truth is the, the right way, and it's in the Bible. It's one of the Ten Commandments is, you know, telling the truth. So the truth, um, I always say the truth, and people say it. It's a saying, the truth um, shall set you free. And it will, you guys, it really will. So always be honest, you know, be honest in life. Uh, no reason to lie because then, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> still got that phlegm down that throat draining from my uh, meds. Um, but, you know, always telling the truth just makes you a better person. I mean, when you tell a lie, you're going to start having friends saying, well, I can't trust her. She's a liar. You know, all she does is lie and she doesn't tell the truth and all that. I want to be honest to all of you guys. I want to tell the truth about everything. And, you know, it's it's just the right thing to do. I mean, why have to lie? Because God knows the truth. That's the most important. He knows the truth anyway. So even if you do, God knows the truth. So we shouldn't lie. We should just always be honest with people and tell them, you know, how we truly feel and all of that and just be honest. It says right here, we're supposed to be. Like I said, it's one of the Ten Commandments. Wisdom for today. We often label it less offensive ways. We often label it in less offensive ways. Half truth and white lies. And I was going to talk about that, you guys. The reality is, Father, that our that any falsehood is offensive to you. Help us to live lives of honesty and integrity so we can or so we are pleasing in your sight and do nothing to dishonor your name. Amen to that. I was going to talk about that like a white lie. We think, well, a little white lie ain't going to hurt nothing. Like if you tell your kids, you know, um, you know, uh, mom's going to be here all day or, you know, you don't have to worry when you go to school, I'm going to be here and this and that, you know, you think, well, the white lie, you know, then the child's not as scared or, you know, you're telling a child something that, you know, to make them happy and so like that, but it's still not the truth. And you're teaching your kids to, you know, to lie and all of that. So we should always tell the truth. Like I was going to say, a little white lie doesn't hurt. Um, like people would say, but it does. It still is not being honest and God wants us to be honest in his sight. You know, it says um, your site and do nothing to dishonor your name. So nothing to dishonor God's name. This was a great one because a lot of um, false things go around, you know, and people say things that are not the truth and it's wrong. You know, everybody should be speaking the truth and just being honest, loving and kind to everybody. And, um, you know, being like Jesus, living like Jesus would, you know, and, and being kind to every, kind to everybody. There's just too much fighting going on, and there's so much more in the world to worry about. Uh, those hurricanes and what people are going through. Uh, Jesus's return is, you know, we know it's drawing nearer. We need to make sure that our walk is right with Him and be worrying about that. There's so much more to worry about than petty things. I always say, um, but just enjoy your life, have fun, but do everything in His honor and glory, and let's not be telling lies. 
We want to start our day, go through our day, and end our day with life's manual, the Holy Bible. We want to read it, study, honor, obey, and live by it. Because if you don't do all those things, what good is it, right? And I'm telling this to myself. It's the same day I'm recording. I'm going to try to do a few videos since I'm feeling a little better. Uh, but I need to get back to my reading as well, you guys. I, I really do. I need to get back to reading. I've missed um, quite a few weeks of reading, still praying to God and all that. But because of this vertigo, you know, the devil comes to still kill and destroy and pull you away from it. And, you know, the Bible will keep you from sin or sin will keep you from the Bible. So, you know, you notice that you're doing things differently when you're not reading and stuff. And then, you know, uh, when I was going through it, I even got moments where I got mad. God, why? Why? And then I started to think, why? People deal with worse things than I'm dealing with. So, Angel, stop it. Suck it up. Deal with it. And, you know, we'll get through this. If God brought me to it, I'm going to get through it no matter what. People deal with way worse situations. Little kids are dying of cancer and I'm worried about some vertigo. So, yeah. That's, you know, we just need to remember that. And sure, people are still going to say, but that's still something you're dealing with. I am, but... God needs to be number one, and I should have been listening to the Bible more, and I'm going to try to get back caught up again. Uh, so, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that. And let's always be honest and tell the truth. All right, so on to Electra. Electra is the Blue Sparrow. Uh, she is off of AliExpress. I would have had her information up there. I completely reborned her, um, not from scratch, though, over her art that she already had. Um, I got her an unassembled kit, but a painted kit. And then, of course, I added extra blushing to the cheeks, um, in the creases, the hands, the feet. I'll show you all that when I'm changing her. Um, redid the lips. Like I said, I did wetness inside the mouth to look wet because she has her mouth open. Um, I gave her beautiful little freckles on her cheeks, a little bit on the nose and down the arms. Hold on one second, guys. All right. So anyways, like I was saying, she's got the freckles. I did a little bit on her face, cheeks and nose, and it also comes down her arms and a little bit on her hands, just very little, but I love the freckles on her. I um, did that, and then I did, um, let's see, pierced, we don't want to go on to that yet, <laughs> um, double sealed her, did the wetness in all the right areas, I added a beautiful blue eye, she did have a blue that she came with, but they were very fake looking, you guys will see at the end, I'm going to do before and afters to show you guys, I did show some of my friends, I already seen her on some of the websites on Facebook, and our group that we're in, but those that didn't see her, um, I'll show you the before and afters, but yeah, she's got those beautiful blue eyes, light blue eyes, and uh, I pierced her ear. She's got beautiful little blue earrings in, and she's just a stunner. I weighted her to, this one is over 10 pounds, like 10.6, I believe, uh, but just a beautiful toddler, another toddler for my collection, um, because I'm trying to add, you know, more toddlers in, but I believe that's the rest of my toddlers that I will have, so I've got like six toddlers, and I'm just excited to have that in my collection. So, yeah, and then she's got this beautiful afro that just, you know, is so soft, so nice, and again, very manageable, can do a lot with it. I just love the afro. She is an AA baby, uh, just a gorgeous stunner, and like I said, inside the mouth, I also gave her the wet look inside because her mouth is open. She's got a tongue and gums. I'll show you that, but as we change her, um, we'll go over that. So, she's playing today with her toys and feeding her little dolly, and... Um, She's got on this really cute, adorable mermaid outfit that's got Caucasian mermaids and little African-American mermaids, which I thought was just perfect for her. And it was a two-piece outfit. But I'm going to do the second piece on her. So you guys didn't get to see that, but it is new doll clothes. So uh, we're, we're doing um, new doll clothes for J over at J U. What is it? New doll clothes for J Dolls UK. There we go. And... Um, uh, pop and takes. I did pop the takes already, but still pop and takes for Lynn over at My Bella Blessings. And this outfit I got last year at Target. It is a Carter's and it was such a good price. You guys, I got a two piece outfit. So you got the long pants and t-shirt and this is what we're going to put her in. And it came with, um, the, so that's the mermaids. This is penguins. It's pink with penguins all over it. And the penguins got purple and teal and yellow in it. And they're a white, uh, penguin. And then it's got, I um, mean, I love penguins. And it's got the beak done in a navy blue, but the color of the outfit is the color of the penguin, which is neat. And it comes with the matching uh, little shorts. So it's going to have shorts with it. So, and you can see the little things in here that I'll be popping. So you can see it was new. And this is size 12 months. And she's got that on. That's 12 months that she's wearing. Good size. But yeah, she's going to wear this today. We're going to put, whoops, sorry. We're going to put that headband on her. I thought it would be cute because it's that penguin color. Uh, matches great with the outfit. And then because she's going to be just in shorts, kind of jammies. They're like a jammy set. That's what she's wearing as PJs. And they're a PJ shorts. We're going to put these on her. I haven't done these yet. They're little ballerina, like um, slippers. So we're just going to put those on her. They look like a ballerina or a Mary Jean. We're going to put those on her. And they're like a, a white color, a white, yeah, white. So that is what she's going to wear today. And we've got to take all of her toys away. 
yeah, we got to take your toys, Electra, so we can get you dressed. So look at, she is the boss. It says born to boss. She takes a magnified pacifier. That's what I do is I magnified it with her um, because uh, she's got that open mouth. So you can see that she takes the magnified one. But yeah, she is such a beauty. I'm having so much fun with these babies. So we're going to lay her down. Oh, I want to show you guys. Well, I'll show you after we get her undressed. So we'll get her out of this. But anyways, I hope you guys are doing well this fine Saturday. And uh, get your babies dressed up and play and have fun. And um, tag uh, Patricia for Play Day Saturday. It's also Disney Saturday, I believe, too. Um, but uh, anyways, yeah, I hope you guys are doing well. Hope you're having a nice weekend. And I uh, hope your the rest of your weekend will continue to go well. So, yeah. Uh, but I am just having so much fun with these toddlers, you know, getting them in my collection and uh, reborning them more and just giving more realism to them. I'm just having so much fun. I love it. Love it. I didn't think I would ever like the toddlers, but I do. I really do. Do you have buttons on this thing? I don't think it's buttoned. Oh, I have it pinned, you guys. I pinned it because it was a little bit big on the neck, so I'm probably going to have to pin the other one, too. It's a little bit big on her neck, but the outfit fit her perfect. So that's why. But, oh, isn't she just a stunner, you guys? She is just a stunner. Beautiful baby. Now, I know a lot of my friends, and I should say, I'll hashtag on here, she made me do it. <laughs> um, a lot of our friends are getting these babies, and they're just so cute, and so we end up getting them as well. But look at her. Look at how pretty she is. Look at her skin tone. And um, uh, the one that first had it was Sina, and she's got Michi. That's the name of hers, and it's a boy. And I had just seen her as a girl when I was putting her together. I seen her as a girl. But look at the blushing. Look at the bottom of the feet, the blushing I did to the heel, all inside of there, the toes. Extra blushing to the knees. This is this foot. I mean, just gorgeous, you guys. When you add that blushing to the hand, you can see there the inside of the hand and then her, her uh, beautiful face I did. But I'm going to show you that up close. I'm going to show you, look at those beautiful freckles. She just looks so cute, and they're just so subtle. They're just pretty, you know, really, really pretty. And then, like I said, I was doing it on the arms, too. So it goes down the arms, a few on the arms, onto the hand. Let's see if I can pick her up better so you can see it on the hand. And then here's the other one. A few freckles on there, just a few. And I just thought it was cute. But look at that beautiful hand. When you add the art to it, look at how much more realistic it looks. So pretty. And look at those beautiful eyes of hers. And then inside the mouth, I did the wetness. If you see that, it's more wet because she's got her tongue and her gums there. So I did more wetness there, and I did a different color on her lips. And then the wetness and moisture in all the right areas. Isn't that pretty? And then I pierced her ears. She is a stunner. Yes, you are. That afro she has is so cute, you guys. Let's get her so she can look at you guys. Hopefully, she's all the way in there. Yep. All right. So we'll take out your little uh, clip here. I just put a little clip in there. I love this afro. This afro is just amazing, you guys. Who doesn't love an afro? So cute. She really is a cute baby. Definitely, if you see her and you're interested, definitely get her. She comes in an unassembled kit so you can put it together so it doesn't have all the stuff in it to have to take out. Or there's different ones on there, but this one here was an unassembled one. Um, if you're looking to get this one, um, you know, you can definitely ask me and I'll give you the website um, or the actual link to it. Um, it is an NPK, I believe. Yeah, NPK. So I can give you the link to that. If you're interested in wanting to get this one, just let me know. But, uh, oh my gosh, are these ever cute on her? Yeah, those are cute. I've been dying to put these on a baby. And I just haven't had a chance because it just didn't look right or didn't match or something. I don't know. But yeah, they, they like our little Mary Jane slippers. Yeah, how cute. And they fit her perfectly because they had to be bigger too. So Yeah. We are just enjoying our Saturday. I'm so happy. Obviously, it's not Saturday for me. Um, I pre-record these videos, so really, it's Friday for me. And um, I'm going to enjoy the weekend. So here we go. We can just say these are the pop and the tags. <laughs> the little uh, plastic little thingies that we all just love so much, right? So we're going to put these on her first. But yeah, I hope you guys have a beautiful weekend. I hope everything is going good for you guys. Because when you get this, it will be Saturday for you guys and for me. And I hope that I'm feeling just as good as I'm feeling today. Um, like I said, we're about 50% better and uh, getting better. It seems like each and every day. Yesterday was a little bit, um, kind of came back a little bit, uh, but definitely not as bad as it's been. Like I said, I have good days and bad days, but we haven't had a lot of super bad days. Look at how cute that is on her, that color. So beautiful. Yes, it is, Electra. And you know, you guys, I was going to name her. Um, uh, what was it? Um, gosh, I just lost train of thought. Um, 
kyanite. That's what I was going to call her, kyanite, because it's kind of the color of her eyes is a kyanite, which is a gemstone. That's what I was going to name her. But all of a sudden, I'm getting ready to do a video on her to show the before and afters. And I called her Electra for some reason. I don't know why. And I, I said to myself, well, that must be your name, because why did I do that? And then after that, you can see the neck is just a little bit big on her. Not too bad on this one. I think the neck was a little bigger on the other one. But this one has got, it's not as big as the other one. So I don't think we really have to pin this one. But um, anyways, I just, I called her Electra and it was funny. So then I told Siri, I did a number one through two for Electra or um, Kyanite. And then, well, Kyanite came up. So I thought, well, that must be your name then. Because I don't know why I called you that. And then all of a sudden, um, oh, all of a sudden, um, you know, I said that name or whatever. And then when I did the uh, one through two, uh, two was for um, Kyanite and one was for um, Electra and, or no, vice versa. Two was for Electra and one was for um, Kyanite. And number two came up when Siri picked um, a number, one through two. Look at her in that outfit. Oh my goodness, Electra, you are so beautiful. Isn't she pretty, you guys? Oh my gosh. Like I said, if you want, um, I actually will just link it down below in the comment section or in my um, description box, one or the other, I will have her link. I'll probably put it in the comment section. I'll have her link if you're looking for that. And like, like I said, she comes unassembled. So you do got to put it together. You got to wait her and everything. She doesn't come with the stuffing or anything, um, but she comes with that beautiful afro and then you can just put her together. Uh, many people got this one, put it together and they didn't even do anything to it and still a beautiful um, sculpt. It just really is. But I just like to add it being an artist. I like to add to it. So yeah, I hope you guys um, uh, love her and welcome her to my nursery. I'm going to give back some of her toys here. And um, yeah, I'm just having a lot of fun adding these babies in and doing some work on them. But I will have babies up for sale here pretty soon. So I'll be looking out for that. I'm Now that I'm feeling better, I'm trying to get back. So starting on Monday, I'm going to be doing some more work. We'll put her passy right there. Doing some more work, getting some silicones up for you guys. So yeah, um, that's going to be nice and... We know the holidays are coming, so it's the perfect time to get uh, babies up for sale. So I'll be having some, hopefully in the next couple of weeks, you guys. Uh, continued prayer so that this vertical stays away and enough where I can paint and get back to things because I enjoy what I do. That's what this channel was for, was to share my own babies, but to buy, paint, and sell the full body silicones. And hey, I might even start getting into maybe doing these, getting these, and uh, doing work on them and selling them. You know, um, that way, you know, because I'm not really doing full kits yet. I know I can do them, but I'm not doing full, like from start to finish, but maybe thinking about getting some of these ones, painting them and selling them. I'll let you guys know so that you have your choice from a vinyl or a silicone. All right, you guys, we're going to get going. Electra wants to blow you guys a kiss. Mwah! She loves all her new aunties, uncles, grandmas and grandpas and all of her little cousins. I love you guys as well. Mwah! But remember, 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 remember that God loves you the most. God, sorry, I'm, I'm trying to look back here. That God loves you the most and he wants us to, did I read that one? Speak the truth. Yep. He wants us to speak the truth. Be honest. Honesty will always set you free. <laughs> free. I can't talk. The truth um, shall set you free. That's like a tongue twister. It will, you guys. I hope all of you guys are going to have a beautiful weekend. Everybody take care. God bless. Let's have her wave. And we will see each and every one of you in our very next uh. upload. Now, at the very end, you guys, you'll see before and after photographs of her and then some cute photographs of her, just alone.